This is the Music History Today podcast for June 3rd. On today's show, we have the Wu-Tang Clan, rock and roll gets banned, even Bill Clinton and Elvis Presley make appearances. First up, though, on this date in 1955, Buddy Holly opened for Elvis Presley in Holly's hometown of Lubbock, Texas. In 1956, Santa Cruz, California banned rock and roll music in public. In 1959, due to stereo recordings getting popular, Billboard magazine split up their album's charts into stereo and mono. In 1964, the Rolling Stones performed live on American television for the first time. Also in 1964, Ringo Starr was rushed to the hospital after collapsing during a photo shoot while on tour with the Beatles. He was replaced on the rest of the tour by Jimmy Nickel for all you trivia buffs out there. In 1967, the event alleged to have taken place in Bobby Gentry's song Ode to Billy Joe happened when Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. The event didn't really happen, though. In 1968, the Velvet Underground's manager and pop artist Andy Warhol, along with Warhol studio curator Mario Amaya, were seriously wounded by Valerie Solanas during an argument at Warhol's studio. In 1971, singer Crystal Gale married her husband, Bill Getzimos. In 1972, the Rolling Stones started their Exile on Main Street tour. Also in 1982, Elvis Presley's mansion Graceland opened for tours. In 1983, Jim Gordon of Derek and the Dominoes killed his mother during a psychotic episode. In 1989, Reba McIntyre married her manager, Narvell Blackstone. In 1992, presidential candidate Bill Clinton played the song Heartbreak Hotel on the saxophone during the taping of the Arsenio Hall TV show. It turned into a pivotal moment in the presidential campaign. In 1993, Midnight Oil's appearance on MTV Unplugged premiered on television. In 1994, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunches' Mark Wahlberg made his acting debut in the film Renaissance Man. In 1994, same day, Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam married his wife, Beth Liebling. In 2001, actress Tina Fey married composer Jeff Richmond. In 2005, the group Hollywood Undead was formed. In 2006, Metallica performed the entire Master of Puppets album live for the first time. In 2006, same day, Zach Hansen of the group Hansen married his wife, Kate Tucker. In 2007, Akon threw an unruly fan off a stage. Literally. After a fan threw something at Akon, he grabbed the fan, dragged him on stage, then picked him up and threw him off the stage. In 2013, the group The Brothers Osborne were formed. In 2017, entertainer Belle Bundy married TV executive Thom Higgles. In 2019, Jay-Z became the first rapper to be declared a billionaire on Forbes magazine's list of wealthiest people in the world. Also on the same day, the boy band parody movie Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping premiered. And in 2023, the Fugees reunited for a surprise appearance during former Fuji member Lauren Hill's concert in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In classical music in 1869, composer George Bizet married his wife Genevieve Halavi. In theater in 1961, the Broadway show Wildcats closed. In award ceremonies that were held on June 3rd in 1979, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. In 1984, La Caja Faux won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. And in 2001, the producers won Best Musical and virtually every other award at the Tony Awards. Albums that were released on June 3rd include In 1967 when the Ventures released Super Psychedelics In 1970 Deep Purple released Deep Purple in Rock In 1972 Pink Floyd released Obscured by Clouds In 1977 Bob Marley and the Wailers released Exodus In 1978 Peter Gabriel released Peter Gabriel 2 in 1982 Raven released Wipeout and George Strait released Straight from the Heart In 1983, America released Your Move. In 1985, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds released The First Born is Dead, and Brian Ferry released Boys and Girls. 
1986, Belinda Carlisle released Belinda, and Queen released A Kind of Magic. In 1990, Supertramp released The Very Best of Supertramp. In 1991, Deacon Blue released Fellow Hoodlums. Also in 1991, Danny Minogue released Love and Kisses. In 1994, Bruce Dickinson released Balls to Picasso. In 1996, Manfred Mann's Earth Band released Soft Vengeance. In 1997, Natalie Cole released This Will Be, Natalie Cole's Everlasting Love. The Tearaways released Grounds the Limit. Pat Benatar released Inamorata. Rush released Retrospective 2. Steve Winwood released Junction 7. The Wu-Tang Clan released Wu-Tang Forever. In 1998, Rod Stewart released When We Were the New Boys. In 1999, Fish released The Sicket Disc. In 2003, Roy Buchanan released American Axe Live in 1974. John Mellencamp released Trouble No More. And Roxy Music released Roxy Music Live. In 2005, Shakira released the Spanish portion of her double album, Oral Fixation. In 2008, the compilation album 90s Rock was released, as was Weezer's The Red Album and Journey's Revelation. Singles that were released on June 3rd include in 1957 when the Isley Brothers released Angels Cried. In 1961, Mary Wells released I Don't Want to Take a Chance. In 1964, The Miracles released I Like It Like That. In 1967, The Doors released the radio version of the song Light My Fire. In 1970, Stevie Wonder released Sign Seal Delivered I'm Yours. In 1971, Bob Dylan released Watching the River Flow. In 2013, Lord released Royals. In 2016, Shawn Mendes released Treat You Better. In 2017, Daniel Cohen released What's It About You. And in 2021, Billie Eilish released Lost Cause. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 3rd include Danny Wilde of the Rembrandts, David Cole of CNC Music Factory, entertainer extraordinaire Miss Josephine Baker, Ian Hunter of Mott the Hoople, Kelly Jones of Stereophonics, Carrie King of Slayer, Mickey Finn of T-Rex, Mike Gordon of Fish, Saffron of Republica, saxophonist Boots Randolph, singer Dan Hill, singer Denise Williams, singer Eddie Holman, singer Susie Quattro, Ariel and Gabriel Hernandez of the group No Mercy, band leader Phil Nimmons, bassist Carl Pruitt, Bill Canahan of Smog, blues guitarist Jimmy Rogers, Blues guitarist Lizzie Douglas, Dave Alexander of the Stooges, drummer Al Harewood, drummer Michael Clark of the group The Birds, Eddie Willis of the Motown Funk Brothers House Band, Florian Pinkinton Mixa of Curved Air, funk pioneer Curtis Mayfield of the group The Impressions, jazz guitarist Jack Wilkins, jazz singer Dakota Staten, keyboardist Billy Powell of the group Leonard Skinner. Matt Pike of the group High on Fire, pianist Carlos Franzetti, rapper Dave East, rapper Joshua Summerkin, rapper Lil Zay Osama, singer and actress Lelaine, singer Biba Doobie, singer Danal Skian, singer Lucas Rieger, singer Life Jannings, singer Mia Alana Scavo, jazz trombonist Gretchen Moncour III, trombonist Lillian Briggs, trombonist Tom Brown, trumpet player Bob Wallace, and trumpet player Ted Curson. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 3rd include composer Gottfried Sheet, who passed away in 1661 at the age of 67. Composer Jean Engelbert Powells passed away in 1804 at the age of 35. 
Organist John Christmas Beckwith passed away from a stroke in 1809 at the age of 49. Guitarist Francois de Fossa passed away in 1849 at the age of 73. Organist Julius Rebuke passed away from tuberculosis in 1858 at the age of 24. Composer Heinrich Esser passed away in 1872 at the age of 53. Composer extraordinaire Mr. George Bizet passed away from heart issues in 1875 at the age of 36. Musicologist Ludwig von Kochel passed away from cancer in 1877 at the age of 77. Composer Carl Riddell passed away in 1888 at the age of 60. Composer Heinrich Kohlberg passed away in 1890 at the age of 76. Composer Johann Baptiste Strauss Jr. passed away in 1899 at the age of 73. The first African-American woman to have her composition played by a major orchestra, composer Florence Price passed away in 1953 at the age of 66. The conductor of Brooklyn Scandinavian Symphony Orchestra from 1913 to 1939, Conductor and composer Ole Windingstad passed away from heart issues in 1959 at the age of 73. Harpsichordist Scott Ross passed away from AIDS-related pneumonia in 1989 at the age of 38. Punk rock singer and guitarist for the groups The Dead Boys and also The Lords of the New Church, Stiv Baders passed away after being struck by a car in Paris in 1990 at the age of 40. The singer for the Royal Danish Theatre from 1958 to 1973, operetta singer and actor Paul Bungsgaard passed away in 1998 at the age of 75. Heavy metal multi-instrumentalist and record producer Quorthon passed away from heart issues in 2004 at the age of 38. Composer Jonathan D. Kramer passed away from leukemia in 2004 at the age of 61. The pianist for the group The Saddlemen, Johnny Grand, passed away from cancer in 2006 at the age of 76. The Queen of the Blues, blues singer Coco Taylor, passed away in 2009 at the age of 80. Saxophonist and also singer for Louis Prima and the Witnesses, Sam Butera, passed away in 2009 at the age of 81. Multi-instrumentalist Andrew Gold passed away from heart failure while sleeping in 2011 at the age of 59. Composer Elodie Lauten passed away from cancer in 2014 at the age of 63. Fiddle player and also songwriter for the group Fairport Convention, Dave Swarbrick passed away in 2016 at the age of 75. Boxing and civil rights icon who also was a singer and who the 1975 song Black Superman was written about and who was also referenced in Will Smith's hit song Getting Jiggy With It, the greatest Muhammad Ali passed away in 2016 at the age of 74. Gospel singer Clarence Fountain of the group The Blind Boys of Alabama passed away in 2018 at the age of 88. The founder of the Calcutta Youth Choir, singer and actress Ruma Guha Thakurta passed away in 2019 at the age of 84. And jazz trombonist Gretchen Mankur III passed away in 2022 on his 85th birthday. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 4th, when, in 1984, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band released their album, Born in the USA. Born in the USA. 